Welcome to DIY Yolandi. I hope you enjoy this video. Hello and welcome to DIY Yolandi. My name is Yolandi Nsele and you must be so confused right now because I am not Yolandi and you're right. My name is Lika Honola Kumala of LK Home DIY on Instagram and Lika Honola Kumala on YouTube, a fellow DIY content creator. Yolandi and I have teamed up to do a remote collab. How this is going to work is that Yolandi has selected one of my past projects that she's going to recreate and I've done the same. So after watching this video, head over to my channel and get to see which one of Yolandi's past projects that I recreated. But before you do, please remember to subscribe to her channel, leave her a beautiful comment, share the video and share her channel while you at it and enjoy. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. But I have to. But you can always find me at LK Home DIY on Instagram and the channel of on YouTube. Girl, you can have your channel back now in three, two, one. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, Little Honolo. From her channel, we are making this beautiful bathroom tray. You will need Mendel 90 all purpose adhesive filler, normal nails glue, handles, granny bees paint, a daisy. This is to open the tin. Well done. Which I got it. So as you can see here, I've joined it. Pieces that I already had around the house. Don't waste material, guys. Especially if you can prevent it. A sander and a drill. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Here is your shopping list. After you've securely joined your two pieces of wood together, take your wood filler for the groove, let it dry, then you sand it. It needs to be smooth on both sides. As my wood was sitting in my storeroom and collecting dust, the top layer was very dirty, hence I'm sanding it down, so that it reveals its natural color. I will need measuring tape and handles. I measured 5 centimeters from each corner of where the handles will be, and I used the handles to guide me as to how far apart I should draw the holes. Okay, so then because we are now going to be drilling, I brought out these two these two drill bits. Uh, and then this is how I check if the drill bit will match the size of the screw that I want to use. So the width of this is is too small. This one seems perfect and the width of this is still also slightly bigger but I don't have one that is between these two so if anyone wants to sponsor some drill bit sets please do so comment down below if you would like a drill tutorial I had to call in my husband to assist me to hold this down so that it doesn't move while I draw. Awesome, the nail fits perfectly through. Done with your drill, the first thing you do is disconnect it. Granny B paint is a proudly South African, child-friendly, non-toxic chalk paint. Ooh, that is too much. Okay. 
If you would like this paint I am using here or any other paints that Granny B supplies, click the link down in my description box that is marked Granny B Paint. My gosh, look at this. I'm actually going to put it back in here. Wow, I'm amazed. So, I am amazed at its consistency and its quality. A little bit of Granny B's chalk paint goes a long way. After painting, leave it out to dry for at least a good 30 minutes. I'm going for a very worn out rustic feel for my bathroom tray. Hence, I'm sanding it gently down. And now we put on the handles. check out the line of content that i have on my channel and to my awesome family thank you so much guys for watching this video and all of getting so far in the video <laughs> i appreciate y'all so so much and don't forget to click the first link down in my description box to head on over to little honolo's video and if you're looking at purchasing chalk paint from granny b click the link down in my description box See you next time. Peace. Bathtub days are not going to be the same.